2012, presidential candidate Akufuado was asked how he would tackle corruption and his answer caused a stare. He would use the ANAS principle, he said. Setting up highly motivated professional groups of young people who will work undercover to unearth examples of corruption wherever they can find it. What I call the ANAS principle. Kufuado would go on to lose the 2012 election, resulting in a Supreme Court petition, which he eventually also lost. The Supreme Court of our nation has spoken. The result of the December 2012 presidential election, whilst I. I have a message on video now, and as the Abano, or by on Facebook page, Akuma 87.9 FM. Ube nye biashe, binti uba wabe tume tiye comment yino, ewa radio ni so, but ye yi live ewa akuma 87.9 FM ye Facebook page. Binti bobo di yana join ye, na oye part of the video and the discussion. Uye nye biashe, binti bobo di yana, weye exclusive expose video ye yi ne live. Binti uba akuma 87.9 FM ye Facebook page ya, ne pacho obra na bishibi. Ado dan kwa. Having been elected to the high office of president of the Republic of Ghana, having been elected to the high office of the president of the Republic of Ghana, Akufuado's inaugural address was filled with the promise of a new dawn. A new dawn has arisen in Ghana, which will enable us to build a new Ghanaian civilization, which will be the beacon of Africa. And the wonder of the world. The early days seemed equally as promising, with social interventions such as NAPCO and free SHS. From today onwards, no child will ever be denied senior high school education simply because his or her family is unable to afford it. And the pushing of the Ghana Beyond Aid agenda. Since I became president, I've been advocating for a Ghana, indeed an Africa beyond A. We have to get away from this mindset of dependence. This mindset about what can France do for us. Then, in the second year, we released number 12. The penalty. Samuel Suka. Tiger Eye's football investigation rocked the very core of the sport in the country, shocking the entire nation and resulting in government moving to dissolve the Ghana Football Association. When they went to the court uh, with the custom officials, I know some people were punished. So, minimum, we expect that some people will be sanctioned. It shows gross incompetence. Many people are lacking of everything, but poverty is not an excuse for dishonesty. In the aftermath of number 12, Member of Parliament for Asin Central, Kennedy Ejapong, launched an attack on Tiger Eye, raining abuse and threatening to expose our reporters. <laughs> His smear campaign led to the cover of our lead investigator, Ahmed Hussein Swale been blown. Ahmed was eventually assassinated by known assailants in January 2019. A Ghanaian undercover journalist has been shot dead. Ahmed Hussein Swale was a member of Tiger Eye Private Investigations. He was driving home in the capital, Accra, when reports say men on motorbike shot him three times. <laughs> Surprisingly, there was relative silence from the presidency, apart from a social media post and a statement from the government. The president would later go on to say Ahmed's death could have been as a result of another crime. Press freedom was under massive threat. I really got worried. After I received the news of Ahmed Swale's death, it was so gruesome, you know, the way he died. Bullets to the neck, to the chest, just for, you know, trying to help the state become a better place. And for Ahmed Swale to die that way really triggered a wave of terror, a wave of worry in the realm of undercover, I must say. 
and that's really got many of us to take a break, hide ourselves even more than we ever did in times past, hide our families. And one would have thought that uh, Anas and his men would have been applauded for what they did, but uh, sinister motives uh, were displayed in certain circles. Uh, exemplified by by Canada Japon, an MP who was an MP, still an MP who openly on the television incited violence, invited people to finish him up, and um, and, and within days it happened. And then came the Galamsey menace, illegal small-scale mining wars, and still is wreaking havoc among land and water resources in Ghana. The Akufuado government promised to end it by establishing the Interministerial Committee on Illegal Mining. When we went undercover on the status quo, the findings were nasty. We found members of the committee willing to take money to betray their very mandate, including the secretary, Charles Basu. After glaring evidence of corruption, Basu was left off the hook with no punishment whatsoever. Followed by lies. So in the video, you can tell that I wasn't even interested. I didn't know what was really hot. I never took bribe, but ushered away you were doing more of course straight to the bathroom. No, to go out and get any more. In terms of why not, they were punishing. March 2020. 31 days the world is not likely to soon forget. Covid brought the world to a standstill. Fellow Ghanaians, these are not over. So let us all put our shoulders to the wheel. And I'm confident that together, by the grace of God, we shall overcome this challenge. And Ghana began to get things wrong. More controversy came in the name of the National Cathedral. Since gaining our freedom and independence from the British colonial power, Ghana has suffered despair, civil war, famine, and epidemics. And the construction of the cathedral will be an act of thanksgiving to the Almighty for His blessings, favor, grace, and mercies on our nation. With the government rallying citizens to pay for its construction. It was not a nationalistic cathedral, but somebody promised it, and they loaded it on us to contribute. In the first place, they told us that we were not going to contribute a quota. For which reason, you are Duncan William, the catcher said so we should shut up because the cathedral was going to build, be built on their own resources that will be regarded. Uh, 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 Not to talk of the scandal of top ruling party officials like Chairman Wontumi involved in mining. 2021, mm -hmm. August 19th. Now, I can talk mine and I guess I have to command the regional security council. Sir, Omumano security men. Now, Omufanko as I say, I bind their man. These illegal miners have been mining on our concession and in water bodies. I am by this correspondence therefore launching a formal complaint to your outfit to assist us with necessary security details to arrest all such illegal mining. Well, you recall that the Lands and Natural Resources Ministry made a declaration that no license has been issued for mineral prospecting in any forest reserve across the uh, area uh, and even in the country as well. And using gun violence to consolidate gains and intimidate others. The video of tax and bandits belonging to Chamaroon to engaging in an Meanwhile, the economy is now in a huge mess. The beginning of the year, you could actually get one dollar for six CDs, mm. but currently one dollar is actually Oosh. going for nine CDs. 39 pesos. The dollar is hitting the roof. It's getting to 14 
Ghana cities. The truth of the matter is that Ghana has borrowed so much that investors now need uh, to uh, sure that we may not be able to pay that money back. With inflation at an all-time high, cost of living skyrocketing, well, and the city proving to be the worst performing currency in the world. Our debt is simply unsustainable. Because of that, investors are deserting our markets. That is leading the government to borrow from domestic market because it cannot get international investors to supplement. In so doing, it is generating additional forces in the economy that are creating inflation because of the crowding out effect. And the fact that that inflation leads investors to try and dump CD assets and move it to the international currency. It remains to be seen how the country will wriggle its way out of its current economic woes. Captain Smart, the king of morning shows. I think it's an, it's an issue of... Um, willingness and uh, obedience um, to what um, Christ would like us to do. Honest, good job done over that period, yes. Until such persons are made to resign or removed, you should not stay a single day longer. This is the time, Your Excellency, to make changes. IMF has never been an economic structure. Tell the Ghanaian public that this is the last time we are going to IMF. You are a liar. But the man Hold said up. COVID came in Please. to spoil all the plans. Those stories. I will see a sort of one. They are asking questions. The streets. They are asking questions. It is obvious, fellow Ghanaian, that you have a government. Long before we got into this economic mess, tongues had been wagging on issues of scratch my back and I scratch yours and conflict of interest issues at the Ministry of Finance regarding Minister Ken Ufurieta and his former company Data Bank, as well as Charles Edubaine, his Minister of State, formerly of Black Star Brokerage. Tiger Eye decided to investigate, and this is what we found. On June 1st, 2021, the Ministry of Finance released a statement to clear itself of any wrongdoing on the part of Ken Ofuriata and Charles Edubaine on both conflict of interest and abuse of office regarding their former companies. The selection process for firms to act as primary dealers and bond market specialists is based only on merit. The Minister of Finance or his deputies have absolutely no hand in the selection process. The process cannot be subject to any manipulations, the statement from the Minister said. No, Black Star Securities, uh, Edubwai's uh, company, had next to zero market share at the time they were made uh, part uh, of this uh, whole uh, bond uh, addition, what do you call it, acquisition and sale process. While the ministry statement contends that the minister and his deputies have no hand at all in the selection of companies, Regulation 169 of LI 2378, Public Financial Management Regulation 2019, gives him and his deputies the power and authority to approve all companies in the sector. Captain Smart. Ken Ofuriata and his Minister of State, therefore, approved their own data bank and Black Star brokerage. Tiger Eye also observed that Regulation 165 of the LI gives the Minister the power to sell government securities. There has been a sale of government securities to data bank for onward sale. Ken Ofuriata, as Minister, sells the securities to his own former bank, Data Bank, where he still holds a significant percentage of shares despite resigning from his official positions. Would this not amount to conflict of interest, contrary to Article 284 of the 1992 Constitution? As a country, how do we ensure that we enact relevant laws to prevent coming finance ministers with financial institutions from using their position to assist their own firms or friends. According to Ken Furiata in Parliament, his company Data Bank has made 151 million Ghana CDs, while his Minister of State 
Charles de Dubois's Black Star brokerage has raked in millions of CDs. Should these companies not be made to account for the millions they've accrued as a result of a conflict of interest and abuse of office issues? Captain Again, King can a minister Rangers. just dip his hand into the consolidated fund and withdraw money without parliamentary approval? Article 178 of the 1992 Constitution is clear that he cannot do so without parliamentary approval. He withdrew an amount of 199 million Ghana CDs for the construction of the National Cathedral without parliamentary approval. The truth of the matter is that a lot of the projects on which we've spent money way beyond our capacity to pay back money. are simply projects that were cooked to put money in the pockets of people that are powerful and close I, I, to the government. Essentially, cronies of the government. Many of the projects are simply projects that have been cooked to enrich cronies of the government. We must take a scalpel to the national budget and cut every single sign of waste because if we don't do that, we will not be able to create a credible reform plan with or without the IMF. Captain Smart, the king of morning shows. The year 2017 was the beginning of what has become known as the Ghana banking crisis. It lasted between August 2017 and January 2020. The Bank of Ghana, BOG, allowed several indigenous banks to be taken over by private companies between August 2017 and January 2019 after Nanako Fuado was elected president in December 2016. They are going to provide financial resources to support the in indigenous banks that would need help in raising the 400 million minimum paid up capital that's required. And number three, they have also said that they are going to be more diligent in ensuring that good governance prevails. That it has been said that nobody is going to lose their money if they have given their monies to licensed banking institutions. We will, we will not have this panic withdrawals continue, okay? Because it is going on and it has gone on because people have been afraid. The crisis is the most severe economic crisis to affect Ghana since it became an independent country in 1960. During this time, the Tiger Eye team became concerned about this and its implications on the economy. Why was this happening? Who was in charge of these decisions? Was the seeming alertness by the economic managers just a flash in the pan or meant to last? Months before Ahmed was brutally shot by yet-to-be-identified gunmen, Tiger Eye went undercover as investors willing to pump money into the Ghanaian economy. The plan was to invest close to $500 million into the banking sector and in other projects, and we wanted those who could lead us to the relevant power players to make it happen. We met with several people who promised to help. They included businessmen, so-called fixers, and even a top Ghanaian lawyer who gave us astute legal advice. He rightfully advised us to retain 75% control of the bank we wanted to set up and leave the remaining 25% for a local partner. Yet, none of them came close to the state minister, who is not only a public servant betraying public trust, but a top keeper of Ghana's purse, Charles Edubwahene, then the deputy minister for finance. It's not good for him to have every discussion with you outside. He says that it's also true to their royal will. Uh, having discussion with their guests. You will have discussion with him or her in the open, and then you will die into uh, in a closed door. So that's what uh, if you like, as he said, Captain Smart, the king of morning shows. Akuma So the money we have not So the sometimes have to control those You need to be careful. The 
Captain Smart. 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 Captain Smart.
Aku mah FM. Aku mah FM. President Dr. Mahmoud Baubia will be key to the plan at the operational level and how it is important for us to know him. I was just saying that I have to introduce you to the Vice President. The Vice President is a very good man. He used to be the Deputy Governor of the Bahamut. So he might never be able to come to the Vice President. He's very happy about that. He also spoke about how President Nana Akufuado is like his uncle, having been the former campaign manager for his late father, Professor Edu If we, if we, uh, 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 Aku mah FM. 
Director of the Vice President, he's very keen to see investments into the country. So if you come with three or four projects, he's saying, According to a new wife, the vice president has a large family of siblings who have to be put in charge of various projects in order for the plan to work. He has a big family. The vice president has like five or six brothers and sisters. So what's going to happen? Then I want to do this. Do you have someone? Giving the vice president $200,000 as a thank you token would be enough, Iduwain said. Then proceeded to gather it into a polythene bag. After which he left the meeting visibly satisfied. The lack of due diligence by a government minister was baffling to us. Was this how government officials conduct business that concerns an entire country? Until we are able to sacrifice the desires and the benefits of the powerful for the many, no one will trust Ghana to start bringing their money back. Akuma FM. Onyamachio. Yes, Akuma FM. Captain Smart. Akuma FM. Shows. Captain Smart. Akuma FM. Of morning shows.